Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Put the weights down. You better hurt yourself. Why, why are you doing it like that? I'm almost done, wait. Enough is enough. I know you see this all the time, and I do too. This is why we're about to get it right. All right, let me show you how to do this. This is what you just saw my friend doing. When you're in the gym, you never come up to somebody like that, but you come up to them after their set, and you just be like, hey, can I show you how to do this a better way? Which is what I'm about to show you to do, how to do a better way. So, to protect your shoulders before doing any type of shoulder press, I want you to understand that these shoulders are very delicate, and if you open your shoulder up here, you open it up like this, it has no protection, all right? This is just very out on a limb. And what you wanna do, let me show you on this arm, you wanna bring that from here in to here. You're gonna feel the difference as soon as you make that shift, it's gonna feel much more supported. So, next time you do shoulder, a shoulder press, weights from here to here. Now, all the way down, full range of motion, and press on. Uh. Ah. Woo. Now, that's one way to do it. And if you even have shoulder pain and that even hurts you, you can come in just a little bit more, all right? What we call a neutral grip press. And that means you're gonna bring the weights all the way in here and in here. And you're gonna press like this, pushing up over the head. And those are actually harder, but you can get the same result. All right, either or, just stop flaring your elbows out. All right, let's go. This, this, is, this is crazy, right? This is asking for an injury, okay? When you're doing an overhead barbell press, notice when I just did that, I never went overhead. Also, I had a crazy back bend, which is gonna give me probably some type of lower back pain later if I keep doing that, I'm trying to put heavy weight up here and arching my back like that. It's not how it works, okay? Let me show you the correct way to do this, all right? When you're doing an overhead barbell press, Notice, just like I showed you on the last um, shoulder press, my elbows are automatically at 45 degrees. Notice, I can't even flare them out. They have to be here because this is a safe place. Now, when you're gonna press, you press overhead and on top. Okay, look, all the way down, my back is straight, all right? My posture, I'm leaning back slightly, but I'm not here. And I'm not doing a short press. I'm right here, I'm not bending my knees too much. Soft bend. <clears throat> Over. <clears throat> we change for function, and we change for gains. Here's a quick 10. That's how you do it. When you get tired, don't arch more. Just put the bar down, take a rest, go harder or recover for the next set. That's it. Bro, come on, man. Here you go again. All right, look, look. Enough of doing it wrong. Let me show you how to do it the right way. All right? 
let's, let's go through this exercise and show them how to do it right. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you what was wrong first. You never wanna let your, your hands, your, your thumbs can't be pointed this way, like a thumbs up. They need to be pointed down if you wanna target the lateral, the medial delts. Next thing is, you don't want them to go past your shoulders, all right? Your hands should never go past your shoulders. You want your elbow at your shoulder length, all right? You want that at the same level, elbow, delt, same level, all right? And your hands can always be pointed down. So let me show you how we're gonna do it, all right? So put your hands a little bit in front of you, dumbbells a little bit in front. Now you can relax them, okay? You don't want them tense. You wanna, you wanna have them down, you want them relaxed. Now, we're gonna kind of bring them slightly in front of you, so bring them out. Bring them out wide, boom, right there. All right, right here is where you're gonna feel the most tension. All right, do it again. Bring them up. Yep, back down. Come on, there we go, there we go. See guys, look, you got that 45 degree angle going on. Elbows never come over the hands, but they are the same level as the shoulders, all right? And this is where you're gonna build the most results in your medial delts. Medial delts, when you do it just like this. Good, let me get, let me get five more. Come on, I'll show them how to do it. Come on, yep, breathe, yep. Three, two, one, sometimes. Also, another thing you can think about is tempo, all right? You can work on the eccentric phase and the concentric phase at the same time. So let's slow the tempo down, bring them up, hold it for a second, slowly down. Slow, yep, there you go. More, all right, more quality reps. Control and focus plays a major part in making gains, yep. Perfect, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it right there, that's, that's classic form. All right, now, now don't let me catch you doing this wrong stuff no more, I'm gonna take your gym card. All right, guys. All right, cool. So a lot of you might have thought that was a good set, but let me show you why it was not that good. All right, number one, if you're doing a front raise, okay? I don't know if any of you guys feel it yet, but whenever you turn your hand this way, there's likely for you to get a little bit of like pulling in the back of your shoulder, all right? We call it the rotator cuff, all right? It's a little bit of pull in that motion. Also, when I'm doing a swing, again, I don't get the isolation. Will it work? Yes. Is it right? No. So, what I want you guys to do is focus on maybe having this neutral grip right here and we're gonna raise the dumbbell up this way. This is gonna put all of the focus on the delt. Look at that, right there. All right, no swing, that's all you gotta do. Your arms can be nice and straight. So, if I was to do these, if you see me in the gym, I either have a plate or I have these dumbbells, and all I'm doing, nice. Look at that, look at that pump from, from doing that. Now, people do do them overhand. It's cool to do it, you know, if you don't have pain, do it. But if you wanna prevent injury, if you still wanna get the direct target to that front delt, do them the way I just showed you. It's much safer, much better. I promise you there will be no injuries from doing that unless you just ego lift him. So nice, medium weight and get it done. Let's move on. That's not a bad exercise at all. The problem is, number one, you're overextending and it's not controlled. But the face pull is probably one of the most effective exercises for your shoulders, why? Because you're getting external rotation and you're also really focusing on the upper back, the rear delts, rhomboids, the traps. Let me show you how to do this right, okay? Whether this is overhand or neutral grip, you just wanna make sure you squeeze it and control the movement. So, if I was to do this at the gym, I would usually attach two ropes, you know, same with ropes. I wouldn't use one because what I really want to focus on is getting like a, like a field goal shape, right? Here, 
or here, whichever one works best, okay? So, if I had it, I would have two ropes and I would pull here. All right, check that out. Boom, squeeze and don't overextend. Nice control. Also with this one, you don't wanna lean back, okay? The straighter you can be, the better it is to, to work, to, to target the muscle groups directly, okay? So, nice and straight. Not even this, all right? Because you're putting weight on one foot. Nice, straight, tall, pull. All right, let's get some with the other hand. Pull. Now, let me show you my favorite favorite. If I'm really trying to load up on my rear delts, I'm over here. All right, this is my all-time favorite. If I'm really training rear delts hard, I'm doing this in my session. So, this can be heavy. Now, we're gonna go chest supported with the cables. Yeah, this is for, what do you call this? Um, a seated row, seated cable row. Well, all we're gonna do is bring your elbows up in a 90 degree position. Pull. <clears throat> See that? Elbows gotta be up here. <sighs> Don't pull your chest off, all right? Keep your chest planted right here. All right, keep it stuck. That's it. This is how you train, all right? Your shoulders makes your physique look better, right? If you have a wide waist, you wanna build your shoulders, look like you have a skinnier waist. But even so, shoulders just make your physique look even better. So this is the 3D shoulder workout that you just got from your coach. You're here with Josh Bailey. You guys know where to come when you need advice on training, nutrition. Hey, we're, good. we're even gonna get into the mental piece because if you're not mentally right, you're not gonna get the results either. So guys, like, share, subscribe, keep coming back because we're going to keep making games. All right.